so you would need, I mean, if I was to set one up on one of them wheels and stuff, I would need one of them for to keep my, yeah, just make, make it off, because these things fill on tractors in pretty often, okay. um, so that's why they've got several of these all the way around all around the track. Okay, so this this gauge here is actually notorious for jumping on itself. Okay, I wouldn't put it in that. That's no. why there's so many of these three lasers. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's a good one. 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 Put all this stuff on there. John, we need to put a couple on that. Yeah. That would help me all too. But you did that. Well, I think you're going to take it. On a 26 inch wheel, I got a wide one. It's pretty heavy. What about putting out of like a, something like what you got underneath the tree over there? Putting something like that on a wheel or something where it would roll? Yeah. That'd be something different. I mean, it'd be something like what, what he made up there, but mine, he was just on a 20 inch. When I first seen it, I was so then I asked him, I said, well, what's the uh, wood on this? That's actually to help stiffen the, the wood up to keep it from flexing. Keep it from flexing. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's got a half pin of wood, so it really works. It's uh, if whatever you're putting on it, don't need to make it uh, rotate. So I think most of your engines will rotate it once you're rotating. I really it sounded pretty pretty simple last night. Well, a dummy like me could screw up anything. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> screw up anything I could find and get it up. 